Hello everyone, my name is Jacob, and today we are back with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, last time, well, if you watched the point .5 episode, we read some of the Codex, but I'm not going to do another one of those right now. Uh, this time, we had just completed, I think we would call that the tutorial. And now we're looking around. This is the, we just got out. We have a quest in there, but we have side quests to do, and I want to talk to everybody that I did not get to talk to last time. There seems to be a marker in here of some sort, if you can see it on the map. Oh, Frostback Mountain Haven. So let's go in here first. Apothecary. Find recipes through exploration or by visiting merchants. Visit an apothecary with herbs you gather to with the wilderness to upgrade potions. Use the equip station to assign different potions to each of your party members and to replenish the potions you are carrying. Cool. Sacred asked, told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. We'll gather our own. Tell Sacred he better hope he doesn't need a salve anytime soon. Oh, so it looks like there's some problems. Ah, look who's back from the dead. Okay, that is a creepy painting, you guys. Look at that painting. That dude is staring right at me. Okay, I'm just gonna put you there so he's looking at you. We've met. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. That's you weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear. Though. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, so he's the one who patched me. Thank you. I didn't realize. Thank you. You can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Mm. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Oh. Investigate. How are things? How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. You're a bit For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. Oh, you want sweet. something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. Hmm. How do I order potions? How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Nice. I still had something I want to talk to you about. And in one piece. Oh, I think I just leveled up, you guys. <laughs> Scared me. I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. All right. Goodbye. Farewell. Level up. Your ghillie has reached character level 4, so let's go do that. Ooh, I have two points to spend. So let's get this explosive shot. You fire a powerful shot that explodes on contact, damaging enemies around your target. The first arrow doesn't kill them, the tenth might. Each consecutive hit with a bow attack does progressively more and more damage to the target. That actually sounds pretty good. But let's check. I don't want sabotage. I'm not a huge fan of traps. Stealth. You step into the shadows. You, you live in the darkness. Entering stealth is now instant and removes all debilitating effects on you. While in stealth, you can even pass through enemies without being detected. Huh, they can't hit what they can't see. Your deceptive fighting skill gives you a chance to dodge enemy attacks. Take no damage. But I think I want to do that because having my stealth be instant's pretty good. Ooh, Cassandra has two points as well. Nice. Let's give her this AoE taunt. Ooh. She can gain some bonus armor. Or she can charge in. Mm. Oh, we can go to our aggressive abilities. You fight all the harder when you're hurting.
Oh wait, did I not equip that? Oops. Maybe I have to go do that with Gilly. I didn't know I had to do that. Uh, uh, using technique perfected by Orlesian che uh, Chevaliers, you can't be planked by enemies, and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. Your expertise with the shield protects you against range attacks from the front. Let's get her to learn... Oh wait, this adds a stun? Yeah, th that looks pretty good. Let's go back up. I can make sure to... Oh, okay. It's already applied. Good, good. Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is Solus. Barrier. Your aura of tranquility makes enemies less likely to attack you in battle, even when you damage them. Yeah, let's, let's get his threat reduced. What else does he know? Oh yeah, he knows ice magic too. What does this one do? You let invisible waves of magic carry you forward, burning, blurring ahead a short distance. Winter stillness. Uh, winter's grasp now damages enemies and chills nearby enemies as well. However, only the primary target is frozen. That looks pretty good, so we give him some AoE. And now, yeah, this is all we have. Uh, oh, so he has traps, huh? Cal traps. You scatter spikes behind you, hurting and slowing down enemies who come after you. This ability is considered a trap for any abilities that enhance. You coach your weapons in a deadly toxin making. Huh. I didn't know that. Oh, let's give him some poison. That sounds good. The worst mistake your enemies can make is let you see them flinch. Whenever a score or critical hit, you regenerate stamina. Let's get him explosive shot too, because that sounds pretty good. First blood. So that's everybody, I think? Come on. Yep, that's everybody. Alright, so let's... Equip potions. Hmm. Just right. Upgrade potions. Okay, potion upgrading. Healing potion. Oh, I need more. Elf root and stuff. Okay. Tonics. Can't make any tonics. And I can't make any grenades. Well, that was helpful. Mixing potions. Oh, wait, I can do quests? Journal? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, speak with the smith, speak with the quartermaster. We'll talk, go into the chantry after we talk to basically everybody and look around. Oh, tch, is that opening the door? I jumped. So everybody knows I'm very athletic. Uh, maybe we should talk to Solus, yeah. The chosen of Andraste. The blessed hero sent to save us all. I hope to be one. I didn't ask for this, but someone has to find a way to seal the breach. Spoken nobly indeed. You think I'm mocking you? This age has made people cynical. Hmm. I've I like Solas. I've the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. You studied ancient ruins? What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. 
They press against a veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. Mm. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. Oh, that's pretty cool. How can you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. That's impressive. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. So that seems pretty cool. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodated, but you understand my caution. Ooh, do I give him a little heart, guys? Do I want Solas to be my love interest? I don't know, there might be somebody... I guess I don't have to decide right now. I'll flirt with him a little bit. Sure. You came here to help, Solas. I won't let them use that against you. How would you stop them? However I had to. Thank you. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Hmm. Alright, so we talked to Solas. All things in this world are finite. What one man gains, another does. And you've seen no signs of the Grey Wardens anywhere. You're certain? Iron Stone. Grey Wardens, you said? Oh, Grey Wardens. They talked about those guys. I like this song. What can I find in Haven? Yeah, Aiden seems kind of like, oh yeah, I don't want to help, but he helps. My cloak is in a constant state of billowing. I look so dramatic. I like that song. I want to add it to my... Oh, look, here's Varric. But uh, before we talk to Varric, let's go... I, has anything respawned? Because I already checked everything. I don't think so. So let's go up here, because there's a marker. Master Harry said that without more raw, he won't be able to... If you're here oh. to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife ear, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thren. Knife ear? Oh, because I'm an elf. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Investigate. What is your job? What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Hmm. How'd you end up here? How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. I'm glad you believe him. Believe in him. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Logain never betrayed his king. If he brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, we're coming low on time, so uh, right now we're gonna say goodbye, and we will finish this conversation in the next episode. My name has been Jacob. Uh, I hope you have a great day, a great week, and a great weekend. Just be great. Thank you. Bye bye.